Lisa, my darling, where do I begin? What do I say? That you are delightfully impulsive? That you are adorably impetuous? That you live life to the hilt? That in your world you throw caution to the wind? And so what if this makes you thoughtless from time to time? You can easily smooth it over with your incredible charm. Because you are charming. But with your generosity, your wit, and your love of fun, is it any wonder that you've been getting away with murder all these years? But the truth of the matter is, you don't live by the same rules that apply to the rest of us. In your world, it's bigger than life. Romance is the only reason, and passion is the ultimate excuse. It's an enchanted world, Lisa. Many men have wanted to live in it with you, and quite a few have gone down trying. Perhaps they weren't worthy of you. At last, I think you found someone who is. Because, you see, because of the trial, I've gotten to know you. Because of the trial, you've shown me your world. Because of the trial, you've shown me the place of romance and passion in your world. And I feel so lucky this evening that I can be here and that I can tell you in front of your loved ones and your friends exactly what is in my heart in regard to you and your world. My darling Lisa, your world is a crook. It is a sham. But it is also a very dangerous place. Romance and passion in your world is the true definition of a vacuum. You are the vainest, most selfish woman that ever lived. And to know you and to be with you in your world is to be in a place of fraud, of fakery, of self-deception, and of danger. Because there is always the menace that at any moment, the absurd comic book thinking which you most so mistakenly take for logic, will reach out and destroy the real world, my world. But I will not allow that. I cannot bear your closeness. I cannot bear your touch. And it is the height of your conceit that you should ever think I would go through with this marriage. Family Matters, today at 5 on News Channel 6. Part 2 of As the World Turns. Susan said that Cal could have died. Yes, but he's all right now. He's all right. I was so frightened. I know. I know it must have been horrible. Just horrible. I'm just trying to make sense of everything right now. I'm trying to trying to cope. Just put one foot in front of the other. You are. You are coping. You're coping beautifully. Until I found out about Cal. And then I just got overwhelmed. I don't know what I would do. I just don't... Something would have happened to him. Shh. Now just... Just try not to think too far ahead. You know, he made it through the operation. And we just have to be very grateful for that. I am. I am, but I just feel like I'm running on empty sometimes. You're not. You're not. You look like you have more strength than you ever dreamed of. How do you know that? Because I know you. I know you. Now you're, you're being tested right now. That's, that's for sure. But you're going to come through this. I mean, you're going to have the strength to be there for Cal. He's very, very lucky to have you. Well, Emma, if you only knew. You are very courageous. Now, that's a rare thing. Rare thing. You're a survivor. <laughs> I 
tell you something. If I were ever in trouble, I certainly would be happy to have you in my life. It means a lot coming from you. I'm just telling you what I see. Oh, I hope you're right. Because Cal's going to need as much support as he can get right now. So there you have it. I realize there are some of you out there who are not going to like what I've said here tonight and what I've done. I suppose I'll just have to live with that, won't I? But I can't help feeling there are a few of you out there who know what I'm talking about and perhaps even appreciate it. You see, Lisa, I know who I am and I know who you are. But you never took the time to find out what that meant. And now you know. This has been your learning experience. I've had mine. You've had yours. Turn about is fair play. As for the rest of you, well, the drinks are free. The food's hot. Mingle. Talk amongst yourselves. But before you judge me, think twice. Case closed. Ow. Ow, I gotta get a reaction. I'll tell you what, why don't you get the hell out of here now before you get hurt? Get him out of here. Maybe that's the way. I must have called you at least six, seven times. I called you too, did you know that? You, you mean the time before you left, yeah. And I'm sorry, I should have talked to you. I was so angry and I was stupid. No, Mike, I called you when I was in France too. Probably didn't tell you, did she? No. No, I guess she thought I didn't want to hear from you. Yeah, I guess. You did try to call me. Yes, I tried to call you, Mike. The whole time I was away, I couldn't stop thinking about you. But I thought you were too busy with your account. Good old Scott. He told you, right? Well, according to him, you were with him during a couple of my phone calls. Oh, Mike, I thought maybe spending some time with Lucienne would help me get my mind off you just for a few hours. It didn't work, in case you're interested. Glad. What about Carly? She told me that you two are living together now. Nothing has changed. Not for me. She is still carrying my baby and I have to take care of her. That's all. Looked like a little more than that when I walked in here tonight. Oh, no. The baby kicked. The baby kicked and she got all excited about it. And then she kind of hugged me and then I got caught up in it. Why, why are we talking about this? What? Why are we wasting our time talking about Carly and Scott? We should be talking about us. Mom, don't worry about it. It's not working. Lisa, how does it happen no one knew anything about this? Uh, the guy must be sick. Lisa, everyone in the room feels the same way they hate John. Mom, anything I can do for you? We're all here anything? for you. Can we get you some water or something? Yeah, anything. You want some water, Mom? Something? Anything? Come on, let us get you something. All right, that's that. You want to blow this taco stand? Hmm? Oh, what's wrong? Too much for you? I thought you liked blood sports. I'm a gentle soul. Oh, and so you're heartbroken about poor Lisa. Oh, no, I didn't say that. It's just... I've had enough excitement. Really? That's too bad. So I think it would be pretty exciting to see you do your victory dance down Main Street. <laughs> <laughs> and you had nothing to do with the fun games tonight, huh? I just want to get back to Samantha. I finished my chores here. 